the culinary track, it is uh, very much skills-based learning. Our, our stream has a, a very big focus on practice. That is why the students uh, tend to uh, like what we do because it's not monotonous. Uh, aside from uh, learning from books, they also get to do something or they get to create something with their hands. And also something important, our students don't work alone, alone. they work by pair. So basically at the commencement, how work with the team. All of, all of our students know what does it mean to work in a team. So it started as a unique training center for professionals, for continuing education in France. Around a thousand professionals go there every year and uh, it's still one of the most famous, uh, very high-end culinary training that you can find in France. Uh, transmission of knowledge is for him very important because he always says that if you do not give away what you know, you won't be able to, you will be stuck to the same position forever. We have the excellence, we have the pleasure, you know, it's very important. We have the respect, we have the diversity, because you know we work all around the world. So it's very difficult, but that's our job to adapt in every situation. I took the 15 month course because uh, currently I'm handling a uh, family business right now. So it's more like in, in the industry of food. Now I, I found it necessary to actually learn about the industry, the ins and outs in the industry, as well as to learn the technical skills needed in order to operate such a business. We, we created four very professional kitchen, so students learn in a, a professional environment. So it's very important also when the students going out to the country or another place, they know the equipment because we have exactly the same equipment what we can find in the restaurant. I took my internship at uh, Alain Ducasse Formation, which is in Argentoy in France. What's really great is we're trained by the chefs here in such a way that um, you don't know what to expect already. Um, at the same time, you take internships outside of the country. It makes you grow as a person because at that you learn new languages, new cultures, and you open your mind and you open up your eyes to different possibilities. It's not the type of industry that you would see portrayed in, in TV where you see those, those chefs um, in, in their homes cooking, clean, and everything. It's really an intensive training where you really learn how to, to, to cook and not just cook, but also learn the techniques behind the cooking. Understand why you have to saute, why you have to brown something, why you have to caramelize something, or why you need to just sweat it. So it's, it's more like uh, the science behind cooking more than anything else. And I think that is what's necessary in order to succeed in the industry since um, it, the recipes are there in the internet, information is there. Um, it's readily available, but to actually know what to do to that recipe and change it and tweak it and add your certain touch to it, you really need to know the, the techniques behind it. Basically what Mr. Ducas say, if you want to be a good chef, knowledge is not enough. You have to learn with passion, you have to work harder, you have to work faster, and you are sure to make a success. I think I found my calling actually. Um, I love what I'm doing now. Every time I step in the kitchen here, it just reminds me that, um, yeah, I'm really happy now. Uh, I love what I'm doing. Uh, it's not easy because, yeah, it's a 15-month course. But at the same time, I'm just truly enjoying what I'm doing now. And the learning experience here is great. If you have the passion, patience, and willingness to learn, then the ABF program is for you. Enderon gave me an amazing experience, amazing learning experience that I will never forget.